What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, of course, I'm Johnny Rodriguez. Welcome to Exhaust Note Channel. Uh, today's a nice day, as you can see from the title. Big decisions to make here. As you can see, I'm kind of looking at something, guys. Uh, I'm standing in front of, uh, as you know it, the all-new 2021 BMW M4 competition that is very, very well equipped. It is their demo car. I'm here at BMW Sarasota, as you guys can see over there in the cut, all the way around. BMW Sarasota. If you need a new vehicle, don't forget to ask Chris Sarapoca, one of the sales managers here. Emilio Torres is the GM. Uh, make sure you come check these guys out for specials. I don't know if there's any specials on this car. I highly doubt it. There's definitely not gonna be any specials in this car, but they do have a lot of BMWs if you're interested. I want to thank them, uh, appreciate them letting me check out this car. As you all know, I have to make a final decision to replace my M3. So uh, no further ado, uh, let's check this baby out. So let's uh, address the elephant in the room, or in the outdoors, because that's where elephants hang out. And you guys know what I'm talking about. That. Now this car is uh, black sapphire metallic, I believe. Uh, we'll look at the window sticker uh, in a minute and see the difference uh, of color, but I'm pretty sure that's what color it is. That's what it looks like. Uh, it does have the adaptive cruise control. You can see it right down there. Uh, guys, take a good look at the front view. On a black car, this isn't as, as bad as on a black car, but man, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a fan. I don't like that grill. It's not that exciting to me. And I don't think that uh, most of you are going to feel the same when you see it in person. Uh, but I have different opinions about the rest of the car. Every other photo I've seen of the car outside of the front grille, I have been a fan of. I do like the side profiles. I do like the rear end. Some of you are complaining. As long as it doesn't have the M Performance exhaust. That center Type R crap they got going on, I hate it. It looks horrible. I had M Performance exhaust on mine. I probably wouldn't equip it. I might go aftermarket to stay with this look. Here's the rear end, as you can see. M4 competition badging right there. Right on the back. Sport exhaust, black tips. I don't know how you guys feel about these accents on the bottom. They actually look good on a uh, black car. The new mirrors, I think I like the old style a little better. Let me know what you guys think about those. I think on my F80, I think I like the mirrors a little better. Uh, turn signal looks different. This does have the cameras on the side like normal. Uh, you do not have the camera. You guys remember, you used to have a camera right here. It's just a sensor. This does have the laser lights, you can see. They come with P0s, guys. These are not Pilot Sports. Uh, the PS4s you find like on the M5. Uh, they're 19s in the front. Which is kind of cool. They did 19 in the front, 20 in the rear. The fronts have 275, 35, 19. Wow. What were mine? 265, I believe, on competition 20s though. 265, 35, 20 on competition wheels for the F80. And you had 285, 35, 20s on the rear. So let's check out the rear wheel. Did they change it? Nope. 285, 30, 20. Maybe it was a 30, I'm not sure. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a little bit. 285, 30, I don't know if you can see it right there. But look at these brakes in the rear. Why is there like a regular four series caliber in the rear end? Red calipers, which is cool. I think caliper colors are an option now. But you have the big front brake caliper. Black accents everywhere for the competition package. That's normal for a lot of you that are fans. That's pretty typical of this car. So I don't know how I feel about the black, I mean the back uh, wheel caliper. That, that looks, I don't know, that's kind of like che they cheaped out there. Uh, the rear diffuser looks great to me. Uh, this, is, this must be a tow hook. I don't know if that's buttoned in good. Needs to be slid in better. Oh, one good thing that I like is this right here is powered. I think I locked it though. Let me see, is it locked? Oh, there it goes. A powered rear trunk. How cool is that? You get the button right here. Now I can see why this car is a little bit heavier, guys. It does have options that you didn't have in the other one. Seats do fold like normal. Got your floor mats, uh, they have an umbrella. Here's a window sticker. 
I'll let you guys check it out. Look, that's their package stuff. Let's just go off MSRP stuff. Black Sapphire Metallic, so I called the color. Black Full Merino Leather, $25.50 for that, $5.50 for the paint. MSRP is $74,700 off the bat. Before you add options, parking assist package, $800. Uh, gives you drive recorder. I wonder if that's a track thing. I wonder if I'm going to look that up in there. Executive package, had that on my car. It gives you heated steering wheel, remote start. I didn't have that on my car, so that's new. Power tailgate, which is nice. The LED laser uh, headlights. Heads up display is a must have. I, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I got to have it. It has wireless charging, gesture controls, which the gesture controls are whatever to me. Wireless charging, absolutely very cool. Wi Fi hotspot. No big deal. CarPlay, Android Auto now. I have an Android phone, guys. I don't have an Apple. I know most of you probably do have Apples, but I got an Android, so that comes in handy for someone like me. The new option right here, obviously no more DCT, eight-speed M-Step Tronic trans transmission. I believe it's the same, the ZF transmission you find in the M5, uh, and the uh, all the stuff included in performance, suspension, uh, shadow line, shadow lights individual shadow lights I, I don't know what that i don't know what that is it's 300 dollars. is that this it might be this right here these individual shadow lights i'm not sure what that option is comment below if you know what that option is guys uh m seat belts to a oh, carbon fiber trim that's the interior you'll see that in a minute which i absolutely love this interior ventilated seats guys in the m4 g80 got the ventilated seats i'm not gonna complain about that uh, rest of the stuff is normal package stuff XM Harman Kardon is standard on them as they've been doing that for a little while now uh, And destination full MSRP at uh, this one is 85 895 and uh, MPGs I think are the same. I don't know if that's really changed uh, I don't know. I, I don't even remember I, w none of us are buying this car for MPGs anyway So they just have to put that on there Still have the BMW Ultimate Care, of course, so you get all your maintenance, which is nice for three-year 36, and the rest is just your handling options and uh, how the car comes, the engine specs, and things like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And they added a couple options on the dealership. They do add a few things you get with the car, rear trunk mat, umbrella, uh, I think uh, paint protection or something, window tint, things like that. So, And then you get one year with their auto spa here at uh, BMW Sarasota. You do have, looks like a first aid kit. Oh, that's a maintenance kit, not first aid kit. Oh, there's no underneath trunk here, guys. So you have no more storage under here. No more storage, just storage on the side and that's it. Power, this is pretty cool. I'm digging that. The badging, of course. Come around on the sunlight side. It does have the uh, blind spot in the mirror and that on the side like it used to. But uh, if you guys have driven any of the new 3 Series, new 5 Series, they've all moved that to the side there on the mirror. So what do you say we get inside this bad boy and see what we think? Enter the interior and see what our opinions are. Which I absolutely love. Black Sapphire metallic exterior, full black merino leather. Harman Kardon, of course. I like the new aluminum accents on the side here. Uh, this is just like the new carbon fiber trim or the new I'm not sure what this is. It's like a vent It's not carbon fiber. It's like a like a plastic or something memory seating on the side here No memory seating on the passenger all your mirrors windows control trunk because it's powered now So you have the trunk option to open it right here So it works Can I close it? Let's see No, I can't close it. I gotta I gotta come back here and close it I gotta come back here and press the button. So there's no close. Oh, they moved the camera. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Backup camera's right here. That's pretty cool. It used to be hang here, you know what I mean? But now the button is here. So that, that, they had the camera was kind of offset, I think, on the other one, on my, on, on my uh, old M4s and my M3. So yes, I've had two M4s before, guys. If you, not, if you, not, you didn't know or didn't know me before, two secure orange ones before I had my uh, San Marino blue M3. Uh, seats are competition seats, of course. You got the you got the uh, colored seat belt. This does extend like in the other ones, so that hasn't changed. Uh, it does have lumbar and uh, all the supports. Should be a 20-way power seat. 
Uh, of course, all the new lighting and everything is right here. Auto high beams and all that stuff is right there. But I love this new carbon fiber trim. Check this out. It looks really good. Beautiful weave in this one. Uh, not a lot going on, but the steering wheel looks amazing, I think, with the carbon fiber package. You get the paddles. I love the new M1, M2 buttons right there because it leaves room for all the adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, all that stuff's right here, which is really nice. Bluetooth, Bluetooth controls are on the right side. So all that is the same. Heated steering wheel. I love the new dash look. Some of you don't like it. I've, I've seen plenty of comments in a lot of the groups. So uh, I do love the new interior of the uh, G80. All the G series, the, the regular 3 series, 4 series interiors have always looked really good to me. I love the new mirror look. This used to be like, I think the 7 series was the first to use that style. And the lighting as well looks good, I believe. Seats in the back has a handle right here. This does not have the carbon back. You can get that. I think that's an option. They have like a full M Performance interior option. I think you can get vents in the back. No, I'm not going to go sit back there. Um, guys, I'm six foot one, 250 pounds. I'm not fitting back there. It's not for me. I mean, I probably could fit back there, but we're not going to make the attempt. This seat does move forward and back, though, once you roll it back. So it does move back on its own. This car, when you're sitting position, I think it seems a little higher. I think it sits a little higher up than the uh, previous M4. Or it, it maybe it feels that way. So let's kind of get in and see. Let's turn it on and see what we think. It doesn't have a cold start, guys, so I'd give it to you, but we'll go back there. No cold start because the car has been running. This is their demo car. That service due soon is because this is a demo car. I think it only has uh, 100. Oh, that's the gas till empty. Uh, door is open, so let's close it. It's got, hmm, I don't know how many miles. Can we, we cycle through this? Oh, up there in the top. Let's see if we can get the miles on this. It's probably still a within break-in period. Oh, it doesn't show me, which is weird. I'm not sure how to get to it. See, that's the thing when you're in new cars. All I see is the gas and MPGs over there on the right. Uh, oh, 81 total miles. It's got 81 miles on it. There we go. 81 miles on it, so it's clearly within break-in period. So uh, it's got a ways to go, so it's going to have service due every time you get in it. My phone's right here. It's charging, working, working just fine. I have a Samsung 21 Ultra, so big phone, and it just, I literally, it just fits in there, guys. So if you have a big phone, this sideways is fine. It's got plenty of room uh, forward and aft here, but you can see left and right, man, that is tight in there. It's just, it might have like a millimeter or so in, e in each side, if that. This closes down. It's a pop open, push open. Got your 12 volt charger. The new uh, stack here on the side. I love this, looks great. I like this uh, new look. I like the simplicity of all this. It, it, it looks great to me. Uh, it works. I don't really like over design. You do have a little bit of storage in here with USB-C it looks like. Uh, down in here, I got the tag over there so I can take this bad boy on the road, which I will in a little bit. Let's see how it feels. It does have the head-up display. It has the new heads-up display, so it does display more information than before. Uh, on camera, I don't believe you're really going to be able I think you could see it slightly, uh, but uh, we won't be pointing that out. Uh, I didn't bring a GoPro, guys, so if I'm driving, uh, most likely I can't. There's no GoPro for me to talk to you. I can pick the camera up and uh, you know just try to drive normally uh, because it's automatic. I don't have, like in my car, I had to shift. It was a pain in the butt, but in this car, it'll be very simple. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about the uh, majority of the car. Yes, again, the grill, I don't like it. Uh, in person or in photos, a lot of people are like, oh, in person, it looks so much better. No, it doesn't look better. The grill looks like it looks, even on a black car, white car. There's, They have a white one over there that's sold. They have a, I think it's Tanzanite blue one. Over there by Lamborghini side, it's sold. And uh, this one is just a demo. So the, those other two are just regular M4s. They're not competition. So uh, they actually do look a little different. because exhaust is chrome, it's not black, don't have black accents, no competition badging. The seats are actually different. Uh, so it, they have some different options. The cars 
aren't as opted out as this. I think they're about six or seven grand cheaper, each one of them. So, uh, uh, but um, I would definitely get the competition package. I'm probably more interested in the all wheel drive version of these cars. Let me know if you guys got one. Are you gonna jump on this rear wheel drive option one first? Or are you gonna wait till the all wheel drive ones start to come out? I mean, it'd kind of be good, cool to have a all wheel drive M car. I mean, you know, obviously the M5 came out. It's an absolute beast. I don't know if you guys have seen the new one. It looks amazing. Those upgrades they did with the headlights, the new look, I absolutely love it. I think it's new wheels and stuff options. That car looks amazing. Uh, M5 is a big car though. Now, also a bit out my price range. It's pretty expensive. I was getting in that pricing point, man, I can almost get a used Turcon or, or shoot a slightly used R8 V10. Plus, some of those are out there 140, pre-owned or less. 150 140 loaded so um but uh yeah uh m4 m5s are, are up there too man 130 grand you know so you're starting to get up there in pricing point uh difference is newer tech but let me know what you guys think on this one here we're gonna take this for a drive and i'll get some more opinions here everything else is very normal you're used to mics for the bluetooth and if you guys have seen the interiors you know uh, obviously you know the 8 series has the same stack uh, regular 3 series I think and 5 series I don't think they the regular cars have it yet I'm not sure I haven't been in any of the 21s yet other than this so they might all have it I don't know if they've uh, changed all that yet but um, let's take this thing for a drive and uh, see if we can get our opinions uh, I'll probably have the camera down at first and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens I'll pick it up and go for a nice drive just kind of cruising and see what it feels like kind of daily driving if it's as comfortable as the uh, F80 was. Now mine was lowered, obviously I've driven it plenty of times before I lowered it, uh, and I used to work here, so I've driven them plenty of times, uh, just stock. So uh, we'll see how it is uh, driving this car. Driving it over here, I can tell already that this is a much quicker car than the uh, st than a stock F80 was. Uh, definitely, or F82, because it's, it's, an M it's a M4, but uh, this is definitely a lot quicker. You can feel it. Now I'm gonna say it sounds different because it does sound different. We'll go outside, actually before we take off, let's go outside to the back. With it running, this is in comfort mode. So it is kind of quiet. That's in your comfort mode right there. Now let me see, I could probably put the camera down. Yeah, let's do that. I'll give you guys a look. What do you guys think <laughs> obviously in efficient mode quiet mode it's it's that exhilarating at all but once you switch it it, uh, it definitely sounds a lot better uh, once you put it in m2 press the m2 button yeah press it twice because it turns off all the uh, traction options so uh, it does sound a lot better it does not sound like an f80 I don't know who's uh, heard this car in person or videos you know you guys never can tell in videos but because I do many videos and even like an Aventador in person is completely different than it is uh, on a video. It's, you can't, that feeling an Aventador V12 gives you, it doesn't translate the video well. But, um, and this car is, is the same. F80, we know how that thing sounds, very tinny. Uh, you know, that's how the M M4s, M3 sounded. Uh, but this one is definitely a little throatier. And this is a competition. I don't know if you guys heard regular ones, non-comps. So that could be what I uh, maybe we heard online. But anyways, I'm going to take this for a spin and let's see what you guys think. All right, so obviously we know BMW uh, pumps sound into the car. Uh, and this car does sound completely, completely different. And uh, it's definitely a heavier car. You can feel it in the, you know, I mean, I've, I've drove, I mean, since what, 2000 and when did I get my first M4? End of 2015 or beginning of 16? I don't know. It's, I've basically driven one for 
you know, over four, almost five years now. Uh, and, um, you know, they can be a little road noisy. They're not super comfortable on the road to drive. Uh, but they're definitely, you know, you can tell that they're track cars. Uh, but they're, they're decent dailies. You can't, you can't go wrong with one. Uh, we're going to put this in, uh, oh man, they, they have it in, uh, here we go. We'll put it in drive. Uh, had the thing in manual. So this uh, has the th three uh, drive modes, obviously. So, which is nice. You can definitely do three drive modes. When I mean uh, for the transmission. So this is in the softest right now. We're in M1, which looks like somebody had set it up to be like M2 because it was identical. Nothing changed. Uh, so I had to put it in drive to set it up. Uh, we're on a pretty noisy road so this is actually not that bad they've done a good job here making this cabin a lot quieter uh, kick down is uh, pretty good uh, I didn't uh, I'm not in the most aggressive maybe I should switch that oh yeah now it's uh, changed you know drastic can you guys hear that interior I wonder if you can hear it through the uh it translates well they definitely pump they definitely pump the uh sound through the speakers uh it's it's noticeable but i'm gonna tell you something it, i think it sounds great this car is probably gonna sound really good i'm hoping with some downpipes but we'll see you guys get out there get some downpipes i can't wait to see you guys out and about in public you know regardless of what everybody says the f80 owners right now there's gonna be plenty you're gonna be by this car so there's no way around that. This, they're going to sell these. Uh, all the ones that are ordered right now are all sold. Uh, I am tempted to get one, you know. Even though it's not very popular, this grill, because it's definitely not popular with me. Uh, outside of that, though, the rest of the car is they've done a great job. This is definitely a much quicker car. Transmission's very responsive in, in the most aggressive mode, actually. Because, which I'm in. If MDM is on most aggressive transmission mode uh, and it drives great so no complaints here yeah it's it's response great I think if you guys start to drive these you're really gonna enjoy it uh, it, it it's very responsive uh, we're at a light and we're first so I don't know what do you guys think I don't think we should break any laws here we're just gonna keep the speed limit and see what happens. What do you guys think? Should we go for it? Shall we? Yes, I concur. This thing is rapidly quick. It's definitely faster than any uh, F80 or F82 or F83 convertible guys. We know. We'll turn this bad boy around. This is an impressive car, guys. I think that uh, drivability wise, uh, they did an amazing job. Uh, sitting in the driver's seat, I can't see the grill. So, what do you guys think? Should I pull the trigger and have all you guys hate on me? for buying the new M4 because of this ugly ass grill. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Between you and me, I think you guys should go out and drive one. See what you think, man. Oh, yeah, Fady, drive it. And uh, maybe we should just wait for all-wheel drive option. We'll see. Allocations are gone, so I can't really get one. Uh, I'd have to wait till dealer gets allocation. Obviously, I'm going to get it from BMW Sarasota. If you guys are local, make sure you go to BMW Sarasota. See my boy Chris Sarapoka behind the desk, or you can see Emilio Torres. Ask for every one of them, they'll definitely take care of you. I think this guy wants to race. Because uh, I'm doing the speed limit. I don't break any laws, guys. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel. Let me know what you guys think. I've given my opinion as I would, and possibly I'll be buying one, possibly not. We'll see, guys. Uh, it's only it's only just uh, it's only just a few 
few decisions away. <laughs> uh, but anyways, thanks for uh, watching. I hope you guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe again. And I appreciate you guys, man. Everybody have a wonderful day. <laughs> Ooh, roundabouts, roundabouts, roundabouts. Woohoo, fun. <laughs> Thanks guys. Man, there's no cracks and burbles when you when you're kind of slowing down, when you're downshifting, you know what I mean? I miss the cracks and burbles. Look. Oh, I guess you got a little bit back there. Nah. You gotta be at like that mid-level RPM to get really some of that. You hear him? Ah, you guys can't hear him. I can barely hear him. Let's downshift again, third gear. Uh, it's very slight. Maybe it's louder outside. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I can't hear it. Guys, what do you think? This Porsche wants some of this new M4? <laughs> uh, that guy's not stuck. I've seen him around before. I'd probably get blown away in this thing. Don't worry, G80. Tunes will come out soon, buddy.